Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. You know what I realized that I have done more than 300 videos on Power BI and one of the video which is missing of some very common feature on Power BI was drill through. So I decided that I should have a video on that. So today's video is on drill through. So let's explore how can we drill through means go from one page to another with filtering of data and can we restrict what we are filtering. So let's go ahead and explore that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a page first of all, a very simple page. And on that page, I'm going to have I brand from the item or let me take category because let I want to do three level drill. Okay, so I take category and then I take net. Okay, and I can have you know same thing in the bar visual or pie visual anywhere. So and let me call it master one or master only. Then let me have another page where I will have subcategory and net again and let me call it as detail page detail one and then I will have a third page where actually I will further have basically and in this time let me uh, and I want to have brand basically and instead of just taking brand just to make sure that the things are getting passed let's also take category here and subcategory here and why I'm taking this so that you understand that you know we are continuously able to filter from one page to another page and we have a net here so this means the second page also required So second page, let's keep category also so that we know that we drilled and that could filter out. Okay. So, and let's keep category as first one subcategory and then this one. And now how do we enable? So if what happens is when you enable drill through, if you right click here, you, it will start showing you right now. It is not showing. So what I need to go, I need to go to the details page and in the key filter, I need to give at least one of the things which is available on that page. So I give here mask category. Now here I go to the detail two page. And here I at least need one thing and I'm, I'm right now what I'm doing from only the second page is having subcategory. I'm going to drag subcategory and let's see what happens when we do that. So I drag in subcategory here in the third page. Okay. Now if I go to the first page and I right click out right now, it's showing me drill and it's showing me detail one. See, it doesn't, it doesn't have a subcategory. So it's not showing me detail two. It's only showing me detail one. So I drill down and I drill to detail one. I got category one. And now I have category one and subcategories. Now when I right click here, I see drill through detail two. Okay, because this table contains subcategory two. Now remember on the third page, when I defined this drill through, I did not talk about category. But we have to see whether it filters out category or not. Okay, so it shows me category 21 and category one. But does it really filtering? So it shows here. And it do shows the category. Remember, we doesn't have that, but it added here. Okay. So now you can see that I am drilling and I, I will get these kind of buttons to go back so I can press control and click. I go to this page and control and click. I come back to this page. I can again go and say drill down detail one. So I come for category two and then I can again right click and say uh, detail two. And then I reach here with category two and subcategory one. Okay, now I can go ahead and you know, press this eraser and remove everything if I don't want them. Okay, so this is how this works. Now, one more thing which you can do here is sometime uh, you say, no, 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 I don't want to right click. Can I have a button or something like that, which makes it a little bit more interesting. So what we can do, do in that case is we can go to insert and you can either take a shape or you can take a button. And you can take a bookmark button or you can take a blank button 
or you can take any directional button but we are going to take a blank button that's the most suitable for it and in that blank button so we go to the uh, style under the button property we say text and we call it drill and we can write down a function uh, if you want and let's disable the title let's click here So we got a button here and uh, now uh, we can define an action. So what we need to define is action here and action is going to be bookmark. Action is going to be drill through. Now I can write down a code where it should, where should you drill. Okay. We can write down a major here basically and we can decide based on certain things where should we go. Okay. But here uh, we don't try to write down a major. We want to simply say go to go to drill one. So what I can do right now, I can click on a row and when I click on a single row, you will see it, the drill button get enabled. But what happens if I control and click on more than one row, it get disabled again. Okay. Uh, so I click on one row and then control and click in Power BI desktop and simply click in service. I reach here again, right click. I could have a button here and I can go to detail two. Now this is how you drill page one, page two, page three. Now one more case is there now. I would like to do one thing here is and I'm going to add year here on the first one and let me clear off everything here. So eraser, I go and put eraser, eraser, I come back here in the master, I put year from the date table. Okay. Put a year, second, let me put it second, sort on category and second on with the shift on year. Okay. Now what happens if when I go to detail two, I put a year here also. Okay. I can sort here, shift, shift. Okay. All three I've sorted. Now, if I drill here, now if I click on this row and I say control and click here, I'm drilling here. Year is also getting filtered. I don't want to filter this. I don't want to filter year. So, what would happen if I don't filter year? I'll get something like this. So, I don't want my year to get passed. Now, for that, the trickiest thing here is, and, and what we need to do is, let me, I've erased everything and let me remove this year because you remember the year was not there previously. So what I'll say, okay, I'll say, keep all filters on, I switch it off. Now once I switch it off, what would happen is, it will only pass the things which are available here. So if year is not available, it's not going to pass it. Now, but that also means if I go to the second page and I do the subcategory and I, I don't put category here, like right now it is there, but if I don't put category there, then it will not pass. So what I need to make sure that I have this thing there. So let me remove it and let me add category again here. Just to make sure we all understand what we are doing here. So I go to item table and I put category here drill through and I switched off my means it, it should not pass here according to me. So I go here and now I say I drill down and I right click this time and I say go to detail, you see that the year did not pass here. Still I'm seeing all the year for that category along with the subcategory and you can go and compare the value. See the value here, it was 2018 is 524 and 2018, but I, I'm seeing 2019, 2020, 2000, all those and I get a split also and this, that's not equal to 594. That's equal to 117. Okay. So it means all the years are getting there. Okay. So this is sum up 1.7 million. That's the three rows, which is getting summed up. So that's what I'm getting here. So you can control that. But if you are in that control scenario and you want to further drill through, then make sure that all those are required are dragged there. Once you switch this off, keep all filter. Once you switch it off, make sure you add whatever you need into the drill through. Do let me know how you liked this video. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू Keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you